The First Army was a field army of France that fought during World War I and World War II. It was also active during the Cold War, First World War. On mobilization in August 1914 the First Army was put in the charge of General August Dubail and comprised the 7th, 8th, 13th, 14th and 21st Army Corps, two divisions of cavalry and one reserve infantry division. It was massed between Belfit and the General Line Meyer Court Luneville with headquarters at Epinal. First Army then took part, along with the French Second Army, in the invasion of Lorraine. The First Army intended to take the strongly defended town of Sauerberg. German Crown Prince Ruprecht, commander of the German Sixth Army, was tasked with stopping the French invasion. The French attack was repulsed by Ruprecht and his stratagem of pretending to retreat and then strongly attacking back. On August 20, Ruprecht launched a major counter-offensive, driving the French armies out. Dubail was replaced in 1915. A frantic 1916 saw four different commanders command the First Army, and even more frantic 1917 saw five different commanders at the helm. Composition at the time of the Battle of Passchendaele, the First Army was composed of two corps, the First Army Corps and the 36th Army Corps. Second World War, 1940 During World War II the army under the command of General Georges Blanchard formed part of the forces ranged against the German army during the Battle of France. On 10 May 1940, it included the Cavalry Corps, 3rd Army Corps, 4th Army Corps, the 5th Army Corps, as well as the 1 Re Division Cuirassada Reserva and 32nd Infantry Division. When the Wehrmacht invaded France and the Low Countries in 1940, the 1st Army was one of the many armies including the British Expeditionary Force that advanced north to stop the German armies. On May 21, 1940, the First Army was one of the armies trapped in a vast pocket with their backs to the sea that would eventually result in the Dunkirk evacuations. As the Germans moved in, what remained of the once formidable First Army was hopelessly surrounded at Lille but counterattacked and resisted fiercely in a delaying action, aiming to buy time for the beleaguered Anglo-French defenders of Dunkirk. General Jean-Baptiste Molinier's 40,000 remaining men engaged seven German divisions capturing General Fritz Kuhn of the German 253rd Infantry Division in the fighting and halting the German capture of Dunkirk for three days. It is estimated that the First Army's last battle allowed the evacuation of an additional 100,000 men from Dunkirk. The First Army formally ceased to exist on May 29, though a portion escaped with the British troops. 1944-1945 The First Army was reconstituted as the French Army B under the command of General Jean de Lattre de Tassigny in the summer of 1944. It landed in southern France after Operation Dragoon, the Allied invasion of the area. On September 25, 1944 French Army B was redesignated French First Army liberating Marseille, Toulon, and Lyon. It later formed the right flank of the Allied southern group of armies at the southern end of the Allied front line, adjacent to Switzerland. It commanded two corps, the French 1st and 2nd Corps. The French 1st Army liberated the southern area of the Vosges Mountains, including Belfort. Its operations in the area of Bernhaupt destroyed the German IV Luftwaffe Corps in November 1944. In January 1945 it defended against Operation Nordwind, the last major German offensive on the Western Front. In February 1945, with the assistance of the U.S. 21st Corps, the 1st Army collapsed the Colmar Pocket and cleared the west bank of the Rhine River of Germans in the area south of Strasbourg. In March 1945, the 1st Army fought through the Siegfried Line fortifications in the Bienwald Forest near Lauterburg. Subsequently, the 1st Army crossed the Rhine near Speyer and captured Karlsruhe and Stuttgart. Operations by the 1st Army in April 1945 encircled and captured the German 18 SS. 
Army Corps in the Black Forest and cleared southwestern Germany. At the end of the war, the motto of the French First Army was Rhine et Danube, referring to the two great German rivers that it had reached and crossed during its combat operations. Composition The First Army was mainly composed of North African troops drawn from the Army of Africa. These troops had played a major role in the liberation of Corsica and the Italian campaign, with about 130,000 men engaged during the French and German campaigns of 1944-45. These troops formed the core of the First Army, which comprised about 260,000 men and eventually more than 320,000 men during its final advances in Germany and Austria. First Free French Division, Second Armoured Division only for a short time in late 1944, Second Moroccan Infantry Division, Third Algerian Infantry Division, Fourth Moroccan Mountain Division, Ninth Colonial Infantry Division, First Armoured Division, Fifth Armoured Division, Moroccan Goans. From 26 September 1944 André Malrox's Alsace-Lorraine Independent Brigade, formed from the FFI, formed part of the Army's reserves. Like other units formed from FFI personnel, Malrox's brigade was subsequently incorporated into the French Army as a regular unit. Post-war during the Cold War the First Army was again active. Army headquarters was at Strasbourg, and may have also been at Metz for a period. For a time the Army commander was also the military governor of Strasbourg. Among Army commanders were Generals Emmanuel Hublot, André Beard and Claude Van Brumisch. In 1970 the Army appears to have controlled 1st Corps with the 4th Armoured Division with its headquarters at Verdun the 7th Infantry Division with headquarters at Mulhouse, and the 8th Armoured Division with headquarters at Compiègne. 2nd Corps was at Koblenz with the 1st Armoured Division at Treves, and the 3rd Division at Freiburg. The Army controlled the 1st Corps, the 2nd Corps, and the 3rd Corps as well as Army troops, including Pluton artillery, during the 1980s. After deactivation as the war headquarters for the NATO Central Army Group, Ouvrage Rochonvillers was designated as the First Army's war headquarters in the 1980s. Commanders World War I General August Dubile General Pierre Rox General Olivier Mazel General Augustin Gerard General Emile Fial General Joseph Alfred Michelin General Henry Gouraud General François Antoine General Marie Eugene Debeny World War II General Georges Blanchard, General René Priauc, General Jean de Latre de Tassigny, 